So guys, you're gonna be making a DIY tortoise enclosure. We're gonna introduce him to his new home in three, two. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all are having a great day so far. So guys, I'm at my brother's house right now and I'm here because we're going to be making a DIY tortoise enclosure. Now guys, before we get into today's video, we're going to go around the property, say hi to some of the animals and give them a treat. Guys, we're in this stall right now because we are feeding baby emus. So right here, you guys originally saw this blonde baby emu in one of my videos. He is growing up getting so big and... We have a new baby emu. Now this one is an original baby emu. He is completely looking different. He has stripes, but eventually he's gonna grow out of those stripes, get into his big adult feathers, and right now they're over there playing, having some fun. Look at them. Come here, guys. I got some food for you. So right here we got some emu food, chick starter, and some kale, which is really, really healthy for them so they can get their greens. And look at this guy munching down. Oh, that's so good. So if you look around right here, this is a temporary enclosure that they're staying in, but in the future, it's going to be renovated to their nice enclosure. You can see they are just checking, checking the cameraman's shoes out, trying to find a snack. Your snack's over here, guys. So we're going to let them stay in here, do their thing, munch on some food, and enjoy their breakfast. So guys, before I get into today's video, I want to show you how big Rufus, my brother's white ruffed lemur, is getting. So Rufus here, he's about 10, 11 months old, and he is just going crazy. Right now, we're in the middle of the field, and he is just losing his mind, running around, foraging through the grass, and you can just see he is so excited to be out here. Hey, buddy, what's up? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. So guys, if you come take a look right here, I want to show you how big his teeth are getting. So he is going crazy right now. He just wants to play. So his big old chompers are getting so big. And right now, he doesn't know, but I have two snacks under my leg right here. And we're going to feed him. Once he sees the snacks in my hand, he is going to lose his mind. He's going to go insane. So let me get the first snack. Rufus! He doesn't see it yet, guys. Rufus, where are you going? Come here, buddy, look. Whoa, whoa! That's... Rufus, come here, come here, oh my gosh, what is this, okay, let's let you sit down, so right here we have apples, banana, and oats with cinnamon baby food, which is super, super healthy, gives them all the nutrition, and is a nice, tasty snack, does that taste so good, buddy, oh, he like that taste so good in my tummy, Rufus has a little banana mustache going on, buddy, he is going ham on this, he is totally going insane, so guys, I'm going to close this off right here, and we are going to grab the other snack, and he is going to love it. So let me put this down. Buddy, I don't got no more. So right here, we have the organic teethers, and it's blueberry and purple carrot, which is also super healthy for him. You can see it comes like this. This is actually baby food, but he can eat it as well. So, oh, look, he's trying to go after the bananas. Buddy, look, I got more treats for you right here. Oh, that's so good. Oh, crunchy like a chip. What? Which one do you want, buddy? Oh, you want that one? Want to go for that one? Did that tastes so good. Oh, okay, I'll let you hold it. Look at him. You're growing up so fast, buddy. Oh, that tastes so good. So, guys, you can see right here that as lemurs get older, they start using their hand more to pick up food, pick up objects, and you can see that is exactly what Rufus is doing right here. He is just taking that whole thing. He's almost done with it. He is completely devoured the entire thing so we're gonna let him finish his snack and then we're gonna get to making the diy tortoise enclosure so guys before you meet this little baby tortoise that we are making the enclosure for we must get everything ready so right here we have the little bin that the little guy is gonna go in and we have some things set aside right over here but we must clean it you can see that this is completely filthy so we're gonna take this bottle of clorox you can see milo and Zeno right here are joining us for this DIY tortoise enclosure so we're just gonna splash it in there and that should be good we're gonna get the hose gonna get it nice and soaking wet so this gets nice and sterilized so I got the hose ready I got it kinked right now because we're gonna let it go in three two one oh, okay now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here get this nice and wet maybe just like this. back up don't get some sleep on us get this nice and soaked and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit here, let it soak, let it get nice and sterilized so all the bacteria that was in here is nice and gone. The bin is completely rinsed out, it is completely clean, and it's a little damp, but that is just fine. We're gonna get the rest of the water out, okay? And now 
We're gonna take this big old bag of mulch, plug it over here, and we're gonna start filling this up. I'm gonna just take it, and I'm gonna pour it in. You can see this bag is ginormous. Pour a little bit in, and just pour a little bit more. And now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna see if that's enough. So we're gonna put this bag of mulch in. We might have too much mulch. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna spread it around right here. Make sure it's nice and even, make sure we have enough and that we don't need any more. So guys, I think it's pretty good. Now we're gonna add everything we need to this. We're gonna decorate this and completely deck it out. Come on guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got our trusty sidekicks helping us kick out the place. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right guys, come in here. We are on our plant adventure. So this is the first plant we're actually gonna decorate the enclosure with. So we're gonna cut it off right here. We're gonna put this, here you go, put it in the golf cart. We're gonna cut about two to three more so we can deck this out. So guys, we're in the back of the property right now and we have a bunch of little baby papaya trees right back here and they are sprouting, they're getting nice and big. And this little baby tortoise can actually eat this plant, so it's perfect. So we're gonna cut this little baby off right here. We're gonna grab it by the base. Here you go, hold it right there. And we're gonna grab this one right here, I think, I think. I think this one's good. We're gonna grab this one right here, cut this one off. And now guys, we have all the plants ready and we're gonna go decorate and deck this enclosure out. So we have everything ready to set this enclosure up, guys. If you look right here, we have our leaves right here. We have the palm fronds and we got the papaya leaves. We have this to put water in. We have some rocks to decorate the cage and we have the hut, of course, so he can get some nice shade and hang out in there. So we're gonna start setting it up. So I'm gonna take this little container right here and we're gonna actually make a hole right here because this little tortoise is a baby. We want it leveled with the mulch so he's able to climb in and out just okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these papaya leaves and I'm gonna start putting them right here. Now I'm gonna put it all the way to the bottom and then I'm gonna take these rocks right here and I'm actually gonna put them at the base of the papaya plant so it's nice and steady. And then now we're gonna put the other little baby right here and it's like a little basking area that he can get in the water and it's nice and shaded. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna put rocks at the base right here, if you can see right there. We got it nice and set up. I decided to put them together right here and they're nice and sturdy. They ain't really going anywhere, but I'm gonna take some pieces of mulch right here and we're gonna stick it in here, make sure that it is nice and secure. And it might take a little while, but we want this enclosure nice and perfect. Guys, take a look. We finished these plants right here. They're nice and sturdy and it's completely covering. The little water area right here, it is absolutely adorable. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this little hut and we're gonna place it right about here. I'm gonna take this palm from right here and I'm gonna put it right here, bear with me. The wind is so windy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all of these in half and kind of decorate it over just like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, Milo, excuse me, buddy. I'm gonna just cut this in half right here. Let's get that. Okay, kind of bend it over a little bit and decorate it right on this side. And I'm gonna keep doing that until this whole thing is covered and it looks amazing. A few minutes later. So we got the palm fronds in right here and you can see it just looks amazing. It looks like a jungle in here. It is just coming out great. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the mulch right here and base it on both sides. You wanna base it in the back and in the front right here. If you can see, I can squeeze it in there. I'm gonna do that to each piece. Make sure that these are nice and secure. You can see, we gotta do it right here. And now guys, it is so much better to use real life plants because if your tortoise decides to munch on these plants, well, they're not toxic for it. If they munch on fake plants that you put in their enclosure, well, they could get a blockage and that would not be good. So you wanna avoid that at all costs. So this just looks so much better and is so much better for your tortoise. So now what I'm gonna do is since that is nice and secure, it looks pretty good to me. We're gonna take the rest of these rocks and we're gonna base them on these palm fronds so we know that they're secure. We're gonna do that just right here on each side. Okay, we're almost done guys. We might need a couple extra rocks to really secure these plants in. So it looks like we're gonna need a couple extra rocks. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go grab that so we can finish this enclosure. So we finally finished the enclosure. We did the final touches and guys, it came out amazing. Come take a look. So right here we added some rocks on the base of these palm fronds and then we put mulch over the top and it came out great. They're nice and sturdy, it ain't going nowhere. We added water to this little bowl right here for this little guy. And the last thing we're gonna add is this rock. 
Now this rock is actually going to be a plate for his food because we don't want to put the food here and him actually ingest the mold. So we're going to scoot a little spot right here. Gonna scoot it over. We're going to also make this level so this guy will be able to reach it because he is pretty tiny when you see him. All right, we're going to scooch this all around. Make this nice and even, make it look good. So guys, we finally did the last touch and it came out amazing. I think that's gonna be perfect for this little baby, guys. I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below how you guys think this came out, if you guys would do it this way or if you guys would do it any other way. I think it came out amazing. So now the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run into the reptile shed and we're gonna go get this little baby tortoise. So guys, this is a little baby right here. Now this is an elongated tortoise and he is about a month old and he is as cute as a button. He is so, so tiny and he is pushing to get out. So. We're gonna introduce him to his new home in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, there you go, buddy. Oh, look, he's going straight for the water. Oh, is he gonna go in? Go, buddy, oh, are you gonna go in? He's thinking about it. Oh, and he went in the water. He is loving his enclosure. He doesn't know what to think, so we're gonna leave him here. We're actually gonna put this top on him because in case predators like birds, possums, rats, anything come around, since he's outside, we wanna make sure that he is a-okay, that no animal's gonna get him. So we're gonna leave this top over him, let him sunbathe, let him relax, and, and yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, comment down below if you're gonna give this DIY tortoise enclosure a try. You can see that he's walking around. He is having a grand old time. So guys, if you wanna see more animal videos and videos like this, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.